What's up guys, I'm Charles from Refine Moment Studios and today we're going to go through the process of building your first uh, Oculus Go app and sending it to your headset to test it. It's a quick warning, it's going to be a long process. Uh, there's a lot of steps to do. I'll try to be as uh, descriptive as I can. And I have all the links down in the description for the downloads and I will also try to give more uh, in-depth help on it. All right, so let's get started. Uh, first of all, you need the latest version of Unity. You can download in the link in the description down below. Um, once you do your install, you have to make sure that um, you have uh, se selected the Unity 2018.2.2 F1 and Android build support. So make sure you check that. And then once you go through the process, it's gonna install what you need for Android. Second thing you need to have installed is Android Studio. You can download in the link in the description. The latest version is uh, also uh, important to have. You can also go download the Unity package for uh, the Oculus utilities for Unity. Uh, first step, so once your Android Studio is installed, uh, you can open it up, uh, Android Studios. In your Android Studio, you're gonna go down to Configure and SDK Manager. Under the SDK platform, you want to check all those boxes. So from the API level 21 and up, you want to check all those boxes. On the SDK tool and down to show package details, you want to go up to the, the latest version here. Uh, in my case, it's the 28.0.2. You want it to check it. And once you check, you can apply and it's going to install. You don't, if there's a uh, more recent version, which is RC1 and RC2, don't use those. Uh, just either go down like a level. So you would use the 28 in that case. But now this is the newest release version. So you click, uh, you check it, you click apply and okay. Also under the, uh, the same, uh, the Android SDK build tool, you need to make sure that you have the LLB, LLDB, uh, the latest version checked. So in my case, a 3.1. You want the Android platform, uh, SDK platform tools right here, uh, SDK tools as well. And we want to install NDK. So make sure you go check this one up. You click apply, it's gonna download everything. And once it's done, you can go back to this main screen, go to configure, project defaults, and project structure. In the project structure, we're you're gonna we're gonna need all those links. So open up a notepad and just save all those links. So first one is SDK link. Second one is GDK. I'll go get control C, control V. And last one is NDK. Uh, for some reason, you cannot copy here, but it's almost the same path as this one. So you can take back the first one, uh, add it, and then just uh, copy NDK da uh, dash bundle. So keep that in a text file, uh, not so far from you, because um, we're going to use it right now and uh, later in Unity. Next, you're gonna to have to open the your control panel. So we're gonna to need to put those variables in our environment. So open up your control panel. Um, go to system and security, system, advanced system settings, and in environment variables, click on it. You need to add those three variables. So you're gonna click uh, new. My case is gonna be edit. New, you put the Java home and you put the GDK path. So this one goes here. Android, you click in new, you call it this one, Android NDK underscore home like this. And you put the NDK path. And last one is called Android underscore home. You take the path from the SDK and you put it in the variable right here. Once this is done, you click okay. You and you click OK again. Next, we're going to open Unity. In Unity, we're going to go through File and Build Settings. In the Build Settings, you're going to want to make sure that we are using Android because uh, this 
Oculus Go is running on Android in a, some sort of version of Android. This is why we have Android Studio. So you're gonna go through and uh, make sure the project is, the platform is switched to this one. We can close this. Afterwards, we're gonna go to edit and preference. In preference, we're gonna go to the second tab, X called external tools. And here we're gonna put the same path that we use for our uh, environment, um, environment variables. So we're gonna click, uh, copy the SDK, I'm gonna copy it here. Same with the GDK and then the NDK. So you're gonna copy those path to right here. Once this is done, you can close the window and then we're gonna go through um, edit, project settings, and then player. Here on player, we can, we can go down to XR settings, check virtual reality supported and add the virtual reality SDK. If you don't have the Oculus there yet, uh, that means you need to um, add the Oculus utility. So if this was not done before, you can go to the Oculus utility package. The link is gonna be down. Download the Oculus utilities for Unity. And you can take the, the package and then just drop, drop it on your, uh, in your project. And it should be, it's gonna prompt you to import the files and you just click import and it should be, Okay, uh, next thing you need to do in the player settings, uh, up there, put your uh, company name. Uh, in my case, it's uh, Refine Moment Studios. Uh, put a VR, uh, the product name. In my case is Meditation VR. And down to other settings, you want to come here to the packet identif identification, package name, and place .com, uh, com dot refine moment studios dot so dot com dot uh, your company name dot your company product. I'm gonna put a version. Uh, build code is one as well. And here it's really important the minimum API level you want it to put twenty one, and the target is twenty seven. Okay, once this is done and you have imported your Oculus uh, package, it's gonna a folder is gonna be uh, here on the root of your project. Go to your Oculus and then go to VR and you can go to scenes. In the scenes, there's a gear VR controller scene. We can open it by double clicking. Once we're in the scene, uh, you can either just copy the, the camera right there uh, and then bring it back to so control C going back to your scene and then you can just control V and it's going to copy it in your project. Um, if you open the root of uh, the OVR camera rig, you can see that uh, we have the controllers, the track remote and the Oculus Go remote. Everything is in there already. Next, uh, we're going to go on your phone. So within the Oculus app um, that you have installed, so on your on your phone you have the Oculus app. Once you open it, uh, your phone must be synced already with your Oculus. Um, there's plenty of tutorials on uh, YouTube on how to do this. You go to the the bottom right corner and to the settings, and then your uh, Oculus Go um, headset's gonna be there. You just tap on it. Once it's connected uh, and uh, the tab is open, you go to other settings. So in my case, it's the third option, which is in French. And then uh, development mode, or uh, the third option, is gonna be the to put the developer mode on. You click on it, and then you just turn the switch to on. Once this is done, you can go uh, back to your browser and to the link in the description that goes to the Oculus dashboard. In the Oculus dashboard, you can you, you have to create a, a organization. So you can you can there could be a button. You create a new organization. Uh, you just fill it up. It's super easy. And then you create a new app, uh, mobile or PC. Uh, in this case, going to be mobile because it's the Oculus Go. And uh, you put the name. And once it's there, that's it. You don't you know you don't have to do anything else. Next is to be set up the Android debug bridge. It's called ADB. Uh, Oculus have their own a their own ADB drivers, which you can uh, download it in the link in the description. But I also, but it didn't work for me. I had to find other ADB um, profiles. So I have another link in the description. It's going to be the version one point four point two. 
if we go to my desktop, um, yeah, just close this. All right. So uh, once you extract the Oculus ADV, uh, you can open it. Uh, USB driver, the Android Win USB.enf. You right click and you hit install, and you hit yes. It's gonna install the drivers. And for me, for some people on the internet, it it works. Uh, yeah, you restart. Uh, so for me, it, it didn't work. So I had to download other ADB, which are these one. Once you extract it, you can just go through this. You say yes, why yes, and then it's gonna copy the files and yes, install the drivers. Mine is already installed, so I'm not gonna do it again. And it's gonna create a folder on your C drive called ADB. So once this is done, uh, we're almost there, by the way. You can go to your, um, you can go to your common prompt call, and called CMD. Right click common prompt and run as administrator. Once you're in there, we need to go to this the this path. So you can write cd dot dot cd dot dot. Now we're in the C, the, the root, and we we play, we put cd space adb, and now we're in our directory. Uh, so now we can well we can always call the adb commands. So you put adb devices, and right now there's no device attached. So I will take my uh, USB cord, which is in the computer, and then plug it in the headset. Once in, the, in here, I just hear the uh, the sound of the device being connected. You, let's try, try ADB devices again. And now we see we have the, the, the uh, serial number and then unauthorized. So what you need to do is go to your headset and then simply with the remote, accept the... Um, it's gonna ask uh, uh, to authorize the USB debug, and all you can do is just okay. And now, okay, now we good. Now we got the devices connected, so we're almost there. You can go to your Unity, and in the in your project, go to uh, File, and then Build Settings. <clears throat> Now we're gonna make sure that uh, we have our scene is a uh, check and is up there. <coughs> Sorry. And we're gonna click build. Now that we have our build, we can call it. Now that, now that we click build, we can uh, call uh, put a name on their APK. In my case, it's gonna be exported to uh, my uh, Unity project folder, which I have a folder called build, and I click save. And now I wait for the APK to be exported. All right, now that our build is completed, we're going to just gonna make sure that we have the ADB devices still working. And let's wait for the server to restart. And we still have an unauthorized, so we're going to go back to your headset. And the prompt of uh, the authorization must have been there again, we'll click OK. Now it's connected, it works. So in your build export folder, you're gonna take your latest version. In my case, it's the V3. And we're gonna go to your C drive and ADB, and then you're gonna copy the V3 here. You can also copy the name, um, the full name with the APK. Get back to the command prompt and we put ADB install and you put the full name and you press enter. And now it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna transfer our application to the headset. In my case, it's gonna take a few minutes because my project is kind of big. It's uh, about three hundred uh, megs. Okay, now that we have the result. Uh, it transfer a eighty megs uh, in eighty one seconds, and then we have a success. Woo! So now you go to your headsets. Now we that we're uh, in the Oculus view. We can go to your um, library, which is second tab, and go to unknown unknown sources. Click on it, and there we go. We got the Meditation VR2, which is the, the app that I just built. Click on it, you authorize, and boom.
Yoga VR, that's the splash screen. And here I am in the world with my little remote. Uh, well, okay, there's still a lot of improvement to do, but uh, the main, the project is there, it's working. And now I just need more time to develop the application. All right, this is it for today's video. If you enjoyed, leave a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I will be doing more tutorials on VR and uh, Oculus and technologies. So stay tuned to that. And that's it. I'm Charles, Refine Moment, and I'll see you guys in the next one.